This is Giselle from the Scrapbook Campus. Once you have downloaded Filter Forge, you will certainly want to have additional filters. Filter Forge has several thousand filters available for you to download. Once you get to their page, you click on the Filters tab and you have the option to browse for the filters, either among the featured filters popular filters, the recent ones uploaded, or browse them based on different categories. For example, if you want to look for frame filters, you click on the frame and you have a whole lot of possible frames. If you want to create a pattern, you click on the pattern and you choose which one you would like to have. For example, if you want to have grungy textures, you click on this preview and you will get this option and you see the different variations. Actually, those are likely presets. If you like this one and you want to add it to your collection, you click on Open this filter in Filter Forge. And there you have it. Notice that Filter Forge will, in this case, open as a standalone program and not in your graphic program, whether it's Photoshop or Paint Shop. But that is fine. If you want to download more filters, you can keep this open and go back to your Filter Forge page and browse some more. You can go back to Filters and browse again as you want. Another way you can get interesting filters will be to go under the Gallery tab and you will be able to get a peek at various projects that have been submitted by users. Although you have only nine previews here, click on all the recently submitted works and you will have quite a few more options. If there's something that you like, you click on it and the author might have listed which filters they were using. In this case, four filters were used. Let's see what a Paint HD artist will look like. So this is the preview. You have the before and after. So this is interesting. Let's say I want it. I click on open on the filter and notice my filter forge is already open. So I can just add filter after filter. When I'm done adding filters to my plugin, I can close this standalone version of the program. And now if I open my paint shop, let's say I want to use this photo, I can go under effects plugin filter forge filter forge notice it's here also at the bottom because it was the last one i used and this will open and use my photo as a base the last filter i downloaded went into the creative and here is paint hd artist so if i want to apply this effect on the photo I have. I simply click on it. And this is what I get as an effect. Again, I can go under settings, change various settings, or I can even use a randomizer.
as you can see, I get a completely different effect. When I'm happy, I simply click on Apply to have this effect applied to my photo. Again, the rendering speed will depend on the size and complexity of the image and the effect, and also the speed of your machine. And now I have a very interesting photo. Let's try another effect on another photo. I go again under Effect, Filter Forge. I think that this blue tinting is very appropriate for that particular photo. However, I would like to have a different effect. And here is another one I downloaded recently, Angel Wash. It seems to be a combination of a frame, some sketching, and some water stains. But there is another filter I downloaded, which was the old photo. Let's see how this will look. This has the sepia, color, the old border, and a lot of creases. Maybe I can reduce the number of scratches. And maybe reduce their length. And the creases, yeah, a bit better. I can choose how much border damage I want, more or less. Let's say it's not that bad. And so on. Again, this filter has different variations. So once I'm happy, I simply apply and it will render on my photo. And there you have it, a completely different photo that you can use in your project, whether it's a scrapbook, a book cover, or any other graphic project you have. To download your copy of Filter Forge and have access to those thousands of filters, follow the link below this video. Have fun!